Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see bar bending schedule. So let's see what is bar bending schedule and how to prepare bar bending schedule. See, bar bending schedule or schedule of bars or in short it is also known as BPS. It is a list of reinforcement bars. What it is? It is a list of reinforcement bar or steel bars for a given reinforced concrete work item and is prepared in a tabular form for easy visual reference. What we do? We prepare this in a tabular form for the easy reference or easy visual reference. And this table summarizes all the needed particulars of bars, diameter, shape of bend, means what type of bend is that, length of each bend and straight portions, then angle of bending, total length of each bar, and number of each type of bar. So all this data is provided or all this data is explained in bar bending schedule. Now what I have told you it is it gives you diameter for example there is one table uh, I will show you it in the next slide. So that bar bending schedule will have the diameter of various types of bars the bar diameters 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm or whatever diameter it, it, is, it is that it will have then shape of bending. For example, if it is an anchor bar, then how the, that particular anchor bar has been uh, has been put, or how will be the shape of that particular bar? Then length of each bend. As you know that in RCC structures, every bar has to be bent up to certain limit, up to certain length. So length of each bend is given in that bar bending schedule. Then angles of bending. There are various types of bends in the BBS. Means we bend the bar or steel reinforcement in 135 degree 90 degree 45 degree so there are various angles given or there are various bending of bars that is also that also comes under the category of bar bending schedule then total length of each bar that is also given and number of each type of bar so all this data is given in the bar bending schedule then it describes the mark type size length number and bending details of each bar in a reinforcement drawing of a structure in a reinforcement drawing of a structure, the reinforcement details are given. So our BBS will describe its mark, its type, what type of bar it is, whether it is a torque steel or mild steel, what is the size of bar, whether it is 10 mm diameter, whether it is 12 mm diameter, 8 mm, 16 mm, 25 mm, whatever it is. Then what is the length of bar as I told you, it also gives you the length of bar. What are the number of that particular bars, its bending details, all these are given in the bar bending schedule. So you have got the idea what is BBS or bar bending schedule. It is simply the details of your steel reinforcement. How a particular bar should be cut, how the particular bar should be placed at the site. So all these details are given in the bar bending schedule. So I will sh show you a format of BBS. Let's see. See this is a format of BBS. As you can see here, this is the format of BBS, it will have number, type of bar, length of bar, number of that particular bar, length, total length. So, what is type of bar? For example, in a beam, there is main bar, it may be straight or it may be bent up, then there will be a top anchor bar, then stirrups will also be there in the beam. So, we have classified or we have list down various types of bars, and the length which we have calculated for various types of bars that is also entered into the bar bending schedule. Then number of that particular bars, how many straight bars are there, how many bent up bars are there, that is also given in the BBS. Then even you can show the shape of that particular bar, stirrups will have something shape, main bar, how the main bars will have shape, that is also uh, given in this bar bending schedule table. Then total length, what is total length? It is nothing but multiplication of length of that particular bar into number of bars. For example, in this case, the first bar is say 5.238 and numbers are 2, so total length will be multiplication of number into length. Then 5, 5 is the diameter of bar, various types of bars will be used, so we will have to mention the diameter of bar. Then the next column is weight of bar. Weight of bar, for the formula of weight of bar, the general formula is 5 square by 162, that is diameter square divided by 162. So that is also given or that is also calculated in bar bending schedule table. And at last we will calculate the total length of bar, that I will explain in the numericals also. This is just a format for your reference. So we have seen what is bar bending schedule or BBS. Now let's see what is the necessity of preparing this BBS. See, when BBS is required uh, is for 
cutting and bending of reinforcement at a factory or at site. BBS is required at BBS is required at the site for cutting and bending of the reinforcement because the supervisor will see or site engineer will see how the BBS is there, how to cut that BBS. So he will instruct the various labors. So various labors will cut that particular reinforcement. We will they will bend that particular reinforcement according to the BBS means they will refer the BBS. Then this increases the faster execution at the site and reduces the construction time also and cost due to the less requirement of workers for the bar bending. If you know how the bar should be cut, how bar should be bent, then it will increase the fast execution at site and it will also reduce the construction time and cost due to the less requirement of workers. Then to save the steel reinforcement also. This BBS is also needed to save the steel reinforcement. Now how we can save the steel reinforcement? As the precise lengths are given, as the precise dimensions are given, precise weights are given in the BBS tables, then there will not be any error chances because the labor will cut that particular length only according to that length. So it is observed that using BBS for a particular bar, uh, for example, if you are uh, using the BBS of FE500, it is observed that it saves 10% more steel reinforcement compared to the FE415. So that was one observation. So it simply it saves the steel reinforcement. That it improves the quality control at the site. Uh, at the site. See, as the reinforcement is provided uh, as per the bar bending schedule or BBS, the, what BBS has, it has various provisions how the bar should be cut, as I told you, how the bar should be cut, how the bar should be bent. So, precise quality work will be there at the site. Then it provides better estimation of reinforcement or steel requirement for each and every structural member. You can calculate. This, as I told you, that you can calculate it for beam. Simply, you can call calculate for the columns also. If you can calculate calculate for the staircase also, so you can prepare the BBS separately for each structural member, whether it is a beam, column, or footing. You you can prepare it for the all the members of the structure, and you can compare also, and you can compute the finally the overall enforcement of the entire project. First, you can prepare it separately for each structural member and you can add them together to get the total steel requirement for that particular project or building. Then bar bending schedule is very much useful during the auditing of the reinforcement and that provides checks on thefts also. If you found that the steel reinforcement which was uh, provided or which was uh, brought to the site it is less than the uh, ordered quantity. So there, there are chances that thefts had, has been made or there are chances that steel enforcement has been stolen. So you can ultimately prepare a proper auditing auditing of the reinforcement because it will give you idea about whether the quantity which you have placed, which you, the quantity you have ordered, whether it is same on the site or not. And that can be done by the supervisor. He can check that whether the steel enforcement is as per the order or not. Then Bar bending schedule can be used for reinforcement, cutting, bending, and making the skeleton of the structural members before it can be placed at the required position. You can even prepare the skeleton of a particular structural element or structural member before placing it into the formwork. What generally you have, you may have seen at the site, construction site. What happens? First, the labors prepare the skeleton of the structure. For example, you may have seen the skeleton of the beam. They will provide the stirrups. They will join the anchor bars. They will bind it with the binding wire and then they will provide a skeleton of that particular beam. Then that full skeleton will be placed into that formwork and then concreting can be done. So it is all done as per the bar bending schedule. Then BBS provides the steel quantity reinforcement much accurately and thus provides an option to optimize the design in case of cost overrun. If you found that at this design stage, if you found that my uh, cost is this this after the BBS calculations. So you can change the design or you can optimize the design. You can ask the structural engineer whether there are chances to optimize this design or not. Is there any chance to reduce the steel quantity or not? If it is exceeding as per your requirements, if it is not uh, as per your requirement or as per your budget, you can ask the structural engineer, is there any possibility or not? And he can again redesign it. So that is the possibility if you calculate actual quantity of the steel by using the BBS. Then it becomes easy for site engineers to verify and approve bar bending and cutting length 
during the inspection before the placement as i told you before placement into the farm work a particular site engineer can verify and approve that particular bending whether the bends are done as per the bbs or not means he will have some reference data with him before placing it into the farm work uh, whether the cutting length is as per the calculations or not the whether the bends provided are correct or not he can check it he can inspect it before the placing and last it enables easy and fast preparation of bills of construction works for clients as well as for the contractors you can prepare the bills according to that bbs for example in bbs the length of beam is 5.23 meter but on actual site it is 5.510 only so you can compare whether the work has been done as per the bbs or not and that is by doing the or by preparing the bar bending schedule so this was the video about what bbs is and what is the necessity of bbs that is bar bending schedule thank you